Hello, people. Looks like uh, Niko Kovac is looking for a job, and it looks like it's in the Premier League. Of course, former coach of Bayern Munich was sacked right after the game. They lost 5-1 against uh, Eintracht Frankfurt, which is a team that also beat us in the um, in the Europa League. They played away against us. We played at, we played at the Emirates, and we lost 2-1, as all of you guys know. And Omar Unai Emery was sacked. Uh, funny thing is that Unai, Unai Emery was sacked right right after the game against uh, Eintracht Frankfurt and Niko Kovac was sacked right after the game against Eintracht Frankfurt. So, well, maybe if we play Eintracht Frankfurt, uh, it's going to be the last game for Freddy. Well, honestly, uh, I don't think Freddy is doing well. I think that some people were saying that he did not agree with Emery's tactics, lineups. Well, doesn't look like it, honestly. Uh, I think Kolasinac had a he had a decent game against Brighton, but like why isn't Tierney playing? Because Kolasinac, although he had a decent game, a decent game for Kolasinac in my opinion is like a bad game for Tierney because Kolasinac cannot cross the ball at all. Kolasinac always going there, always going forward, dribbling. Of course, doing that really well. I think he's fast. I think he's strong. Yes, but he cannot cross. He cannot cross. He just kicks the ball in the box. And he hopes that someone puts their head on the ball and scores the goal. That's literally what he does. And when Tierney came on, like 20 minutes left, he already put a ball in the box to Martinelli and Martinelli almost scored a goal. So 20 minutes for Tierney is more impact, he has more impact than Kolasinac for 70 minutes. So it's just crazy and I don't get why you're, why you're taking off a left back to put another left back. It just doesn't make sense for me. Like what kind of coach does that? Like. You've never seen C taking off, for example, Angelino and putting Mendy or taking off Mendy to put uh, Zinchenko or doing something like that. It's, it's just crazy. Or Liverpool taking off Robertson to put somebody else or, uh, you know, it's just, it's, just, it's just crazy. You cannot understand it. It looks like, it looks like Emery is the coach. It looks like Emery is still here. It, it's just crazy. I thought everything, not everything, because he's a new guy. I give him a chance. Because he's no guy, but I, I, I want him out, honestly. Because he's not ready for the job. And I don't want him to ruin what he did at this club. Because he's a legend of this club. I don't want him to be another Ole Gunnar Stokia. I know he beat, uh, he beat Tottenham. He beat City. But still, United fans, I think they're still like, Oh my God, we're go still going to play the small clubs. And we're not going to get points playing against them. Because although as you beat the top six, you still have the games against the top... The, Let's see, the, the, the smaller clubs. And honestly, those might be even harder because United might be doing good against the top six. We did we did decent against the top six last season, but the thing is that you gotta beat the small clubs. If you lose against all the teams in the top six, but you beat all the teams in the let's see, let's say top fourteen right there, well you're gonna you're you're pretty much gonna at least to you're going to at least qualify to the Champions League. That's really it. That's is that simple it's that simple but it's not simple like that it looks like it's so simple but it's not well uh, I think that Niko Kovac he, he has a similar path to Una Emery was a, a smaller club all respect to Eintracht Frankfurt and Sevilla but he was they were at a smaller club I'm not saying PSG is a big club but like their expect expectations are way higher than Sevilla's and Unai Emery went there of course First season 6-1 against Barcelona, couldn't win the league title. Of course, Monaco had a good team, but it was a team full of youngsters and PSG had a way experienced team. Like PSG still had to win that league. They still had to win that league and they didn't. It's just, sh it's just shameful. Of course, uh, Monaco won it, but like their most experienced player, like one of the best ones was, maybe their best player was Bernardo Silva, let's say. Or, I don't know, probably Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva, how old at that time? He was 24, 23? I guess. And Mbappe, was, of course, he was 17. Of course, massive talent, but like, you have to win that league. Look how much money they spend and look how much money PSG spent. And then in the second season against Real Madrid, of course, again, the same thing. Uh, he puts Lo Celso, who was a 20 year old player, came from Rosario Central. No, he's a Tottenham, everybody knows that. But that time, of course, Lo Celso's not a CDM, he's not a DM, and then Unai Emery gets Lo Celso and put him as a DM, and on the game, he has a, uh, an error that leads to a goal. And this, for a young player, he's not ready psychologically for that, for that game. To put him in another position, if he does an error lead to a goal, this is going to be terrible for him. You, may, you can literally end up 
you can literally end the career of a player right there because he's so young he's not ready for that if he plays in his position okay it's already he already has a really big pressure on his back for playing in the Champions League against Real Madrid but you put him in the Champions League against Real Madrid but you put him in a position that he's not used to play and of course naturally he might he might uh, do something wrong and it's Real Madrid they're not gonna they're usually not gonna miss their opportunities like that and they had Ronaldo so of course even even worse and of course a lot of people were contesting Unai Emery for that game and then uh, Arsenal the first season bottled the uh, bottled everything and the um, in the last games against Crystal Palace against Wolves against Leicester against you guys already know all those teams that we played against in the last part of the league and of course against Chelsea where we were humiliated by a, in the Europa League final and Niko Kovac I said he has a similar path because he went to Bayern Munich and he struggled to win the Bundesliga. I think the Bundesliga is one of the best leagues in the world, probably the second one for me. La Liga is not in the level as Bundesliga for me. I really like Bundesliga, really interesting players. Uh, I think the Borussia Mönchengladbach has a great team and I think Marco Rose would be a good coach for us as well. Uh, but I don't think he's going to leave their team. I, I would really like us to sign Zachariah, uh, who is a really great CDM in my opinion. He has potential for me to be maybe the best one in his position in the world. Fight for that with Ndidi and maybe Sumari who plays for Lil, but I don't think Sumari is at the same level as them. And um, of course, but Bayern is, they're basically forced to win that league. They have an obligation to win that league by the, by the money they spend. Like every player who's doing good in the Bundesliga, they might end up at Bayern Munich. Look, for example, uh, Neuer, who used to play for Schalke. Goretzka, who used to play for Schalke. Uh, who else? A lot of players. I just can't remind. Uh, of course, uh, oh my god, what's his name? What is his name? Pavard, of course. Pavard, Sula. Um, a lot of great players. I don't even I don't even need to keep going because you guys already know. Of course, Lewandowski, uh, Gnabry, and yeah, so on. Uh, but I think that uh, overall, I don't think he was good. Of course, he beat the Spurs 7-2, but it doesn't mean a lot. Like, he, of course, great job. You beat them 7-2, but... This doesn't mean you're a good coach, you know what I mean? Because like overall, the whole job, you you were not that good. Like, you just weren't, mate. Like, yeah. Um, and he looks like he's going to be in the game against West Ham. He was at the game against uh, when, when Everton played against against Chelsea, where they beat them three one. Of course, Marco Silva sacked from Everton. Uh, uh, now Niko Kovac is he was on that game. And of course, Everton beat Chelsea, and he's probably going to be in that game when we play against West Ham, which I genuinely don't think we're going to win. I think we're going to lose, and it's going to be 10, 10 games without a win in a row, which is really sad for a team like us. It's just, it's just crazy, you know. I think that we need a coach. We need to be aiming at the Ancelotti's, at the Pochettinos. I don't think Allegri is going to join, and I, I wouldn't like him that much. I think he's a decent coach, but I don't think he would do great in this league. He could, of course, and of course, Unai, um, Diego Simeone is linked with a, with a move to, I mean, a lot of clubs. I don't even think Unai, oh, I, the good thing. The good thing I think is that uh, Pochettino is not gonna not going to be linked with United anymore because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, of course, he, his team beat Tottenham and Man City, so I don't think he's going to get sacked. Uh, it's gonna take him now a long time to get sacked, if he gets sacked. And uh, the good thing is that, well, one less team like to compete against us to get a good coach. I think that Pochettino, his best option today would be what? I think it would be between us and Napoli. And I think that if Napoli sacks Ancelotti, I think he would be a decent coach for us. He's a coach. He's won the Champions League. He's won. He's won all the top leagues. He's won. Uh, he won the Premier League. He won the Bundesliga. He won the league. Uh, he won the Serie A, and he won the La Liga. So he literally won every every title where he's been to. He won the Champions League, as I said, and he won the Champions League two times. And uh, two times, and as a player, he was great too. He won a lot of titles. So he's going to be here. No player is going to compete against him. Like no player is going to have the. 
is going to disrespect him because he's like he's like Mourinho. He's gonna he's gonna come and everybody's going to respect him because he's a respectful manager. They're going to be like, oh my god, I can't, and I cannot believe I'm being coached by Carlo Ancelotti because this guy has a great history and like people are gonna look up to him and gonna be like, oh my god, I have to play, I have to play for this guy. And if you don't if you don't do it, you're gonna, he's gonna drop you. Simple as that. That's what he does. And yeah, so like. Honestly, I don't think Niko Kovac will be that the coach that we need. I don't think Louis Berg is ready for that. Not at all. I don't get his lineup. I don't get why he's still not playing Pepe. He was a winger, and he's not putting winger. I think that, honestly, I'm going to make a video about this, about our formation. And it's going, it's going to be a hard video. And yes, guys, I think that my list, uh, if you look at all the coaches, I think that... And my let's see, my favorite coaches to take over would be first in the first list, Pochettino, Ancelotti, and maybe Marco Rose. I think Marco Rose, I, he was he was a, he was extremely good at Salzburg, but of course it's the Austro uh, the, uh, the league from Austria. But if you count in the in the Europa League, I think the Marco Rose was was really decent there. I think that he. Uh, he was with Salzburg last season. They lost to Napoli. They lost to Napoli 3-0 when the game was in Austria. But then I think when the game was in Italy, they beat Napoli 3-1. Or it was something like that. I think it was 3-1. Or it was 2-0. 2-0. But they were really close to beat them. And uh, Shoboslai, who's linked with us, uh, he had a great game that, that game, I remember. And... Uh, and then now he's at Borussia Mönchengladbach. Okay, they're first in the Bundesliga. They have the best defensive record in the league. They played yesterday, uh, yesterday against Bayern Munich. Uh, it was a great game. Zakaria again, extremely good, extremely good. That guy would be my dream signing for a CDM. And um, of course, players like Ovedi. Uh, Ginter is decent. He just gets a lot of injuries. I think that Ovedi would be a great center back for us. And yeah. I would look up to those two because I think they're great and yes guys but I still think that Pochettino would be in the first like the first of my favorite coach the second would be maybe Ancelotti the Ancelotti with Marco Rose probably Ancelotti second because of the history he's made already he has a he's a, he's already a proven coach and like his tactics are not limited like people say like oh he's not the same one as anymore like based on what um, last season, Napoli was fighting against Juventus for the Serie A title uh, until the end. You guys remember? Um, I think that they they were they were at a point. I think that they were first, but then at the last games, of course, they could not keep up the level because Juventus, of course, they have a great team. Uh, their team is better than Napoli, but like just just to fight for with Juventus for 38 games for the league. And when, when you're in Napoli and you spend like one quarter of what they spend in the season, I think it's great. I think it's great. And this season he's not doing well, of course, but the team is not doing well. Uh, the president wants to punish all the players. He wants to talk to, to the Confederation of Italy to, to take off 50% of Insigne salaries. He's the captain of the team. And he wants just to... I don't know what he wants to do. He wants to sell everybody. It looks like uh, uh, Koulibaly is going to leave for 69 million. Maybe it's a bargain. I think Koulibaly is 28 already. I don't know if it's worth it. Probably, yeah. Probably, yes. I think so. And, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, I think he's going to get sacked. Uh, he lost He lost last week. Um, he drew yesterday against... Uh, I forgot who he drew against. It was Udinese. They were playing away, if I'm not mistaken, but they're doing really bad. They have five wins in 15 games. Their record is basically as bad as ours. We have four wins, but they play in an easier league. So I think he's going to get sacked, and we need to see what happens. I hope we go for Pochettino, but I think Ancelotti would be great. So guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Give that like on the video, please. And thank you so much.